。我想这样呢，一方面还是坦诚啊，客观的，像。First, we still need to be frank and objective to media reporters coming to report on Xinjiang. Responsible media should respect facts and be objective in the reporting in Xinjiang. This is where we start. Secondly, we also hope that our media friends follow the professional ethics of journalism and report Xinjiang in a reliable, objective, and unprejudiced manner. Of course, there were many journalists, including Western journalists, who came and helped introduce Xinjiang to the world. Our attitude is to seek common ground while shelving differences. I think it's normal to have different opinions about Xinjiang, especially between people from inside and outside China. On the premise of respecting facts, I think it's perfectly fine for us to study and discuss it. That said, we are firmly against those journalists or media that deliberately distort facts and even attack and smear Xinjiang by flagrantly disregarding facts and violating professional ethics. We will debunk them on every occasion. As we often say, the truth lies in black and white. Fact is fact. The reality is Xinjiang is not something that can be easily distorted by a few filters used by media networks like BBC. After all, the majority of people in the world have discerning eyes. It's true that they have the freedom, but such freedom should be based on the respect for facts. If a journalist confuses white with black, I don't think he is a responsible journalist. That's typical for some Western politicians. That's a breach of journalistic ethics and undermines his identity as a journalist. They are not welcome here.